Is it recording? Yeah, okay. <clears throat> What's up, YouTube? Welcome to another episode of the Undergrad Forum. Now, this video is What Do You Wear on Interview Day? So, this is part of the interview series, and today I have Cyrus, one of my classmates, and we're both second years, and we're going to tell you what you should wear on interview day. Simple video, but important. Believe it or not, appearance is critical. Don't come dressed like this. You won't even be let into the school to interview. All right, so, um... So I wonder if you dressed like this. Don't even, don't even bring that up. Well, actually, if you did, you wouldn't. What if, what would they, they wouldn't send you home. But no, but you wouldn't get in. Everybody would be laughing at you. You would get waitlisted for sure. You or wouldn't get waitlisted. You would, you would for sure. Uh, but anyway, so, just to kind of start off on this point, Medical school interview is no different than any other interview. It's like interviewing for a job, interviewing at a business, it's no different. So take it seriously. Go on websites on how to interview for MBA programs, for a business job, an accounting job. It's all the same. Mm -hmm. But um, we'll tell you what to wear in this video. So, Saras, what did you wear? What did I wear? I just wore a suit. Give, give them details, man. We need to know nitty gritty. So a black suit with a white shirt and a nice... Was it a red or blue? The tie doesn't really... Oh, hey, but tie matters. Tie matters, but I mean, it's just so standard tie. Standard suit and tie. It's it's not like, like we said, not anything we're wearing right now. Well, of course not. Um, not, like, it's the suit with the coat. It's not just, you know, business... Casual. Business casual. No, no. Or, uh, it's professional. It's you, an interview. Yeah, you really don't want to be underdressed. Overdress is safer in this normally yes. it's not but in this case it is and if you actually if on interview day you look around like your classmates it looks like you guys are all going to a funeral yeah that's what i usually say when it's interview day look the funeral's here today but i did the same thing i had so I, so i had a black suit like if you don't have a suit go somewhere cheap and buy one or just buy a nice one you can use it forever you need one good suit at this point in your career um, but it comes with like black slacks and black top obviously uh, mine have like very very slightly like off-white little stripes like you you couldn't see it. You had stripes on your suit. It, it weren't. It wasn't obvious. It was so like it was like light. It was like gray, so you couldn't really tell. But up close, you could see. It they just added a little style to it. But um, most guys just wear a black suit. Uh, wear a white shirt. Everyone wears that. And I wore a blue tie. Um, I would not recommend. I I think tie color is huge. Just I, I would say even like the stripes I would say is kind of the just stri be as conservative as you can be. But Don't it, try to be very flat. No, but these stripes were two, one millimeter in diameter. You you could you cannot see the stripes. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, just be okay. Very that's a good point. Okay, okay, don't wear stripes. Okay, <laughs> for me, it's like I knew what I was doing. It was very okay, but you want to look. This guy's GQ. I'm sorry. Don't start. But you want to look as like. You want to blend in with your clothing. You do yes. not want to. St you don't want to be the guy wearing like khakis and a red blazer. Mm -hmm. Moronic, as far as that. Be means. conservative. Con con medical school is a conservative environment. You want to be conservative. Um, white shirt. Don't wear. I think we're blue. We go with blue, right? I, I've seen blue. I've seen it, but like I said, just be very conservative, standard. Whatever business attire you you can get on. All right, uh, you know, okay, these are going to be the gold rules we're going to, like, chisel into stone. Black suit, what about dark blue? Black suit. Bla okay, what if they, okay, if you, if you only, if you have a dark blue one, go with it, I'm going to say. Or are you going to say go buy a black one? I would say go buy a black one. Okay, he's sticking with the black. I'm going to say if you have dark blue, it's okay with me, because it, to me, I can't tell the difference that well in the color anyways. Uh, black or dark blue to me, um, I'm going to say white shirt. White shirt. No way around it. Um... Tie color, I'm going to give you two options. In my, my, this is me. Complete black, which you look very men in black, and that's kind of okay. Or a very gentle blue with some, like, and it can have, like, black stripes in it or something. But it, blue is, because color's critical. I've had people come in wearing a red tie. Those, those are, like, in the business world, considered power ties. You do not want to wear a power tie as the interviewee at a medical school. That would make sense. You're, you are being interviewed usually by an attending physician. You don't want to come off as, you know, you are, you, you are a humble medical student, you know, and that's what you are. You're excited to learn. Medicine's like a self-effacing profession. Wear a gentle color. Like, these things that you may think have no relevance, they have a big importance, even if it's subconscious. Mm -hmm. So what do you think about ties? What colors? Uh, I wore, uh, like, a black slash gray type tie. It was, like, kind of, like, striped. Like, sideways like, stripe? Yeah. yeah I, had, I had black and blue sideways stripe. Um, blue tie I agree with. Yeah, red tie, that would make sense. Big no. Um, 
just like like I've been saying all over and over and over again, just try to be as conservative as you can be. Don't try to be flashy. Don't yeah. try to be overbearing. No club attire is kind of going to be critical yes. at this point. I should just say that now. Yes. Um, I've seen people wear like baby blue tie, like suits with like Armani striped belts and it's just moronic. What about the ladies? The ladies want to know. The ladies. Okay, let me just finish the guys. Oh. Like guys, shoes, typical black leather shoes. Shine them up. Get yes. if you don't know how to buff video or like how to like properly shine your shoes, go to YouTube. You're here now, obviously. That's how I, that's how I learned how to do it. To be honest, like you can watch some really good stuff on how to do it. Um, just have nice shoes and those classic black dress socks. Yes. I'll give you Argos socks if you want to wear those. They're kind of cool to me. I'll I'll give you that. What do you think? What? What if like Argos socks kind of like diamondy? Okay, yeah. it's above they, they don't have any stuff. <laughs> Anyways, okay. But what do you think? I think, I think that's like the base. What about watches? What about accessories for guys? The watches are essential, I think. I remember somebody pointing that out to me, and I always wore a nice... Uh, mine was like a black watch. Not digital. Classic. Like black metal? That yeah, black metal. Black metal watch. Um, black metal classic analog watch. Right. Analog means like the two time... The, you know. You guys, if you don't know that, okay. Um, do not wear a digital watch. That's huge. Um, if you'll notice on your interview day, the doctor interviewing you could be wearing a digital watch, and probably won't be wearing a tie. But that's an attending, and they can do whatever they want. You are a medical student yes. interviewing. Nice suit, nice shirt, nice tie. Everything pressed, perfectly ironed. You want to look sharp, and a nice classic metal watch. I wore a silver watch because that's what I had. Nails cut. Na nails cut. No nail polish on for the guys. Or at least hopefully there's no nail polish. <laughs> you shouldn't be wearing. Okay, if you if you paint your nails, take them off today. I don't know. I would say honestly, no earrings for me. No earrings. Conservative. Again, conservative. Nice haircut. Yeah, cut your hair. And if you if you have like a crazy like very GQ style that I'm unaware of, that's okay. But um, just make sure it's very clean. Yes, yeah, shaved. Shaved. Um, what about gel and that kind of stuff? If. I have no problem with that. No, no. Just style your hair conservatively. Don't yes. spike it up and do nothing crazy. Yeah? Yep. What else for guys? Wear a belt, obviously. Uh-huh. Or a sus what is suspender. <laughs> do people still wear suspenders? Well, you them? shouldn't be able to see them because yeah. your coat is... Yeah, but you want to wear a belt. I mean, I because th like, I think something there is defining for the waist. Like, you don't want to look weird. And that's it. That's pretty simple. I don't think this is complex. But, it's, but if this is your first time interviewing and you don't know what it means to dress conservative, I guess it's not easy. Yes. But for us, it's become like second nature at this point. Yes. All right. That's pretty good. What do you think? All right. Done. Next. Women. Oh, I have no idea, sir. <laughs> good luck. No, let's see. Um, what do you think? Well, l ladies don't necessarily have to wear dresses. They, um, they usually wear um, their business suits. Yeah, same thing. Yeah. So all the girls that I saw during interview days practically all wore um, like the black slacks, white top collar, or some, or some kind of blouse. Well, girls, know. they have more like... Like, there's more colors. Like, there's the... I saw gray. I, I saw, saw purple. I saw black. I saw blue, I think. I saw blue. I saw purple. I so saw gold. Girls have a little bit more leeway with color in terms of... We're not one to talk about color coordination. <laughs> Look at us. Okay, so color coordination, girls. I mean, just wear whatever you think is appropriate. Yeah. But I saw every color in the rainbow and all looked fine. Yeah. But every girl almost that I saw either wore, like, a black skirt, like, below knee length, uh -huh. or just, like, a, a girl suit. Yes. That's, that, that's all I saw. Yes. I didn't see any, like, um, full dress. I never saw No, that. no dresses. I never saw a dress. Yeah. And, um, again, I would just say look conservative. Don't be flashy. You don't want to stand out. Um, and a big thing that I think is a big no-no, I saw this at one school. One applicant had an extremely low-cut shirt. It was just, I mean, I don't know if it impacted, but it just, it stood out to me, wow. and I thought it was inappropriate. Yeah, I would like, not recommend Like, you want to be very... Like, you want them to focus on you as a person in the interview. Like, your clothing should just, like, blend in the background, mm -hmm. right? Like, there should be nothing standing out. Exactly. That, that's the... I guess that's the overall message. Like, you do not want to stand out in any way. Yes. Like, not wearing a watch, oddly enough, will make you stand out. You want to stand out in different ways. In terms of your character, in terms of your interviewing style, in terms of... Your application. Your application. Done. But in terms of your clothing, you should not stand up. Absolutely not, because that can only hurt you. But, okay, so there's one thing I think we should need to mention. Do not check, okay, so say you're flying somewhere for an interview, do not check in any piece of clothing you need for interview day. 
because if you lose your luggage, you're going to have all the horror stories you read on forums of, I checked in my luggage, they lost it, interviews in 12 hours, I have to now go find something to wear or I'm stuck with this. I used to um, take my suit, mm -hmm. iron it at home, and then take it on the interview with... with not in my suitcase. And on, and on the airplane. And onto the airplane, and then I would ask like the flight attendant, "Do you have a suit rack or like a, a closet? Yeah, or whatever. closet." And typically they do. They almost always do. Um, I was always staying in coach though, so it wasn't like. Oh, first, so was I. First class, I didn't fly first class, so those. No, those, they, those, they put it in there. For yeah, you yeah, know. that's what I'm about to say. Like that's they, right. they will put the your clothes into like the first class, uh, coat rack. And if, if they're being, just tell them, like, I'm interviewing for med school, yeah. please help me out, I'm poor. <laughs> yeah, they'll, they'll they'll still you. do that, so um, there shouldn't be a reason for you. Like, if there's one, you can lose your suitcase. I, it doesn't really matter. Lose it's, your laptop, yeah. it's okay. Just don't lose that suit, unless you got to go buy a suit. And you don't want to do that, because yeah. by the time you get there. But that, that's a true horror. I wore my dress shoes, I had my suit in a thing. Um, I was ready for, like, World War II, if everything was lost, and all I had was the interview, so... That's, I think, a logistic key point. Uh -huh. Do not mess that up. And um, another logistic point that was very important to me was to get there the day before the interview day so I can get a good night's sleep, stay at a hotel, or you can do like the um, stay with a schoolmate that's already there. Mm -hmm. um, that was big to me. Come the night before, sleep, and then you know get up early, shower, and get ready for the interview. Do not do a red eye. Mm -hmm. But that's maybe common sense, maybe it's not. I don't know. Did, did you stay at hotels or did you stay with like a person? Um... I said maybe like 75% of the time I stay at a hotel and 25% of the time I stay with a student. I really didn't like staying with a student. I was very anxious. But you give, ins give insight on that. that. This is important, I think. Um, for me, like, I just, I wanted to be prepared. I wanted to have, like, my own bathroom. I wanted to have my own time to do something. So mm -hmm. uh, staying at a hotel was nice for me because uh, I got to do all those stuff. But when you're staying with a student, you're kind of on their time like not necessarily like, in, like you're not on you you just have to be like respectful of their environment you can't use the bathroom whenever you want to you know you can't go like stay up until whenever you want to you know 4 a.m. Yeah. tossing yeah. and turning and so you know. I mean it's you're a little bit more independent when you're in a hotel or a motel or wherever you wherever you stay yeah. uh, so I stayed 100% at hotels to me like my night before I was nervous yes. you know I was searching things online. I was going out getting something to eat at midnight. Like I, I was nervous on every yeah. day the night before. But so like I really wanted that. That comfort to me was priced. It was worth like the hundred bucks I spent yeah. at the hotel. Like having my own bathroom, getting up whenever I wanted, having complete privacy. That to me was priceless. So in my opinion, I think you should get a hotel. I truly don't think you will learn much by staying with a student the night before. You really don't learn that much. Like most of the time. They would just kind of, they would just say relax. That was like the only advice I would ever get. So what I else mean, would they say? You should, you should be worried. <laughs> so I mean, if we're telling you that right now, relax during your interview day. So relax, but I mean, you're gonna inherently be nervous. You're gonna want to read things last minute, huh. but you want to be happy and comfortable. That's the most important. So if that to you means getting a hotel, then do it. But if you're the kind of guy that hates being alone, yeah, <laughs> maybe you should not. Yeah, or if you just don't want to spend the money, <laughs> that as well. What do you think we're missing on interview day? Or on interview clothing? Anything we're missing here? No. All right, so we told you guys about interview clothing. Keep it conservative. Black, black, black suits for guys. Black or blue tie. Keep it white. Ladies, pretty much same thing. Blouse, I don't know. Colors, figure them out. That's all you, not me. Um, and guys, wear a watch. Keep it professional. Keep it conservative. And for logistics of where to stay, in my opinion, stay at a hotel, get there the night before, and never check in anything you're going to wear on interview day, because if you lose it, the interview becomes a horrible nightmare. What do you think? It's great. Boom, there's your spark note summary. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you, Cyrus, for coming on today. You're and as always, guys, enjoy your studies. Dude, can you imagine?